Hey guys, it's John from Album Review TV. It's time for a review of the second studio album by indie rock slash uh, lo-fi band Cloud Nothings. This one is called Here and Nowhere Else. It's a follow-up to their album from 2012, which was called Attack on Memory. That album was just so solid. It was so, at the time, I felt like something that no one was really doing in terms of just a really heavy lo-fi group that was really guitar and drum driven with a really angsty vocalist that could really get passionate. And by the way guys, if you didn't notice, I am rotating in the second camera angle. I j it was something that I just wanted to try. If you guys freaking hate it and never want to see me do it again, then I won't. But I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like honestly for me. Hey guys. I think Cloud Nothings have really developed a following since that record, uh, gained a lot more fans. I think the song Wasted Days definitely gained some fans that won me over as a Cloud Nothings fan. Originally that's what got me into them. Epic, almost nine minute long track. Still listen to it a lot to this day. And I feel like with this new record they've not really uh, fine tuned their sound, but at the same time they have added some new things and have gotten a little bit, I feel like, a little bit more passionate about the music that they're making. You can really, really tell on tracks like Psychic Trauma, Just See Fear, Pattern Walks, which is almost like a sequel, I feel like. It's this album's Wasted Days. It's a seven and a half minute long track that really just goes all over the place. The vocals are just crazy. Uh, and sometimes you'll feel like this album is kind of spinning out of control, especially on tracks like Pattern Walks, uh, Give In To Seeing, No Thoughts have these crazy in parts on them that just kind of go out there and just get really into the psychedelic range, but they always find a way to reel things back in, keep the listener on the line without getting too confused, and that is why Cloud Nothings is so good at being Cloud Nothings. Psychic Trauma is probably my overall favorite. It was released as a promotional track. I'm not sure if that was a single or not, but I really thought that they did a great job writing this track. Uh, drum and guitar wise, it just, it's extremely, I feel like, a little bit more catchy than anything they've done. I wouldn't necessarily say it has any pop sensibility to it by any means, but it, it along with Just See Fear, are two tracks that I felt like were written that were more accessible to a lot more people and I like the diversity that this record actually brings to the table here on here and nowhere else. The vocals on the chorus of Just See Fear especially are some that I feel like are a lot more uh, clean and accessible like I was talking about. It's more of a hook and not just uh, a repeated line as I felt like some of their choruses in the past were. It was actually something that you could kind of, yeah this has got a melody to it, this is uh, something that I can actually get in rhythm with because a lot of the album, not saying it's a bad thing, but a lot of their album, their past album and this new album feel like they're kind of out of time and I think that's something that stands out about them is the fact that they play a little bit out of rhythm at times and it adds a little bit of extra flair to things. The guitar and the drums might not sound like they sync up perfectly, but don't think that it was bad mixing. It was done intentionally. No Thoughts is one of my favorite guitar tracks on the record. It has a very mid-2000s rock vibe to it to me. It's just very edgy with the guitars and very driven throughout the song. Really like the lyrical content on this one. And really, uh, a lot of the times, it is easy to kind of forget about what they're saying on the record. Not saying that there's a ton of deep meanings to most of these tracks, but there definitely are things that you want to look into and listen for on this record. Quieter Today opens up the record on a positive note, just like the most of the record goes. I mean, it's a very, very solid track. The only thing is these tracks, some of them don't do enough to give themselves their own unique identity, I feel like. That is the only negative that I see to this record, really. I think it was played very well, each member doing their thing extremely well. It's a very well-crafted album, very well written, very well played. I think it sounds very tight. Uh, I love the lo-fi effects used on this thing. Uh, the vocals definitely are something that draw me in, as well as the guitars. Those probably being the top two things right there that are the most enjoyable for me. Overall, I'm feeling a 4.5 out of 5 for Cloud Nothing's record. And I also, at this time, I wanted to, I know I feel bad for doing it, but I kind of want to withdraw my 5 out of 5 rating for that Bayside record, Cult. Uh, 
you know, uh, I would probably, I was a little bit overhyped at the time and I was kind of, I felt like that was a little bit rushed and I feel like I made a mistake there. I would like to at this time downgrade that to a 4.5 out of 5, meaning that I've not given out a perfect score yet this year. I'm sorry guys, that was a mistake on my part, but I, I will not rush like that again with a review. Uh, I made a mistake there. Anyways guys, let me know what you thought about the Cloud Nothings record here and nowhere else. A title that I love by the way, I really love that. It really clicks with me and it sits well with me for some reason. I really like that. Anyways, let me know what you thought about the album in the comments section down below. Make sure you please hit the like button on this review. It shows me that you like the video. Share it with a friend, help our community keep growing here. About 6,000 strong right now, and I appreciate every single one of you. I really do. Thank you for all of you that continuously watch my videos. Anyways, guys, let me know what I should review next, and I will see you very soon right here on Album Review TV, Beyond the Reviews. And we're going to end them both at the same time. Oh, let me take a selfie.